So it's the end of August 2016. This is just a visual and verbal record of where the allotment is at the moment. We had cleared the space around the apple tree, but we didn't come back and do it again. The plum tree has plums, but when we picked them, they all had little pink grubs in, plum moths. The second plum tree is growing well. I kept it well watered and around its feet, the two squash plants. This is a pretty big squash. The black beans, well, there are just some beans. But considering I planted them quite late, I suppose it's good to get any beans at all. Then we've got the Joster berries, which were a dead loss. But we just left them too long. I find it really difficult working with this netting thing. It's, it's hooked on little screws all the way around and it just takes too long to get the thing off. And then there isn't the space to get in. I would like to start with a new fruit cage. I'm happy with the leeks this year. They seem to be a reasonable size. Those are the Beaker Brown field beans ripening off. And behind them the baby corns. They grew huge. They're much bigger than the other corns at the other end of the allotment and I think it must be because we manured this end and the other end wasn't manured after last year. So you're meant to pick them when they're very small. This one's probably too big already. I finally found some Brussels sprout plants. They're actually not huge, but maybe they'll grow. The potatoes have all died down. This is the remains of the brassica bed. We had some nice broccoli and a couple of cabbages and cauliflowers. Um, but of course, once I took the nets off, the butterflies all came in and made lace out of the leaves. These cauliflowers were Romanesco. They, well, we either didn't get around to eating them or they just kind of grew too much. The chard's doing really well. It's such a shame that Chris thinks it tastes like earth. I quite like it and it's just grown, it's self-seeded all over the place. This pyramid of red beans is um, just beginning to ripen up, ready for drying. And there's more chard and the strawberry bed that should be weeded at some point and we have straw to put on it for next year. So this is the squash that I planted in the compost bin. It's rambled all over the place. It's got one or two squash fruits on it. Um, not as many as I expected, but they look quite good. And over here are the broad beans that just didn't do anything. It, I don't know if it was the heat of the sun. They never even flowered, they just died. And these things, well, they're supposed to swell up at the base and you can kind of grate them and put them in salads. They swelled up a little bit, but they flowered now. And I think most of what you see there is just stem, woody stem. So. I don't think we're going to use them. Chris doesn't like the taste either. There you can see they're flowering. And behind there the bean, the bean trellises are doing well. Oh yes, and here's my new lot of broccoli because the other ones all flowered at once and had to be finished. These are coming up and I have hopes we will have some little broccoli flowers in a week or so. My two parsnips and next to them the carrots. Some of them are quite fat. You can tell because if you fiddle around at the base of the stalks, you can see how fat the root is. That one's not big enough to pull yet. There's some bindweed, dear me. The peas are finished, just about. There's a few mildewy peas in the background there. I think we'll be letting those dry off. And behind them, the squashes, the self-seeded squashes. I'm not sure if they're going to come out true, but they're fruiting a little bit. Um, 
Oh, here's the rhubarb, which is beginning to flop. I don't know if it dried out or if it just dies at the end of August anyway. And then the runner beans and the beaker brown beans and a few more runner beans at the beginning of that row. And behind them, there are some dry beans of some kind. There's the remains of the peas and there are the self-seeded squashes. Some of them looking okay. Um, there's a fairly good looking one. Although some of them have also died off or looking yellow like this. There's a lot of mildew on the leaves but the courgettes are still coming off the plant at the rate of one every day or two. These are the French beans. I'm leaving the last few to see. They did very well. We had lots of beautiful juicy fat French beans from them. And then here's the the normal sized sweet corn which didn't grow as big as the other one. But it's got quite a lot of good looking corn cobs. I have hopes they will be nice when we come to pick them. Quite fat. These are the peas. They're getting all dried out and they're terribly mildewy and I'm pretty sure we shouldn't have planted them so close together. Two inches apart is too close because they're all crowding each other. But there's quite a lot of peas on them. Oh and here's the other brassicas which also provided a feast for the little insects and things. 